will be gone. Pour in your check into the dawn. And station time to fight them all. The 82nd way. Hey! And that's right, I can't wait to get back on the road again to another brick and mortar to buy a knife. That's right. So, recently, uh, the wife and I, minus uh, Mr. Jet here, went to a place called Solvang. I know you're going to hear me say Slovang several times, but guess what? I said it wrong. That's, that's just the way it is. But I am uh, corrected. I stand corrected, as I was. So we went to Solvang for many things. It's a really cool little village and I'll have some pictures and things of that sort to show you what it looks like, the things you can see and do. But what I do recommend is going to this little uh, brick and mortar store called Solvang Knives, etc. And I even had them do up my logo on a couple of mugs, just like this one. And if you like that, you can call them up here and I've given them permission to make up a couple so there you go if you've ever wanted to have a the black cat yourself up to no good have a knife day you can get it done just tell them Mr. Rexu from have a knife day sent you and with that in mind now let's talk about the knife that I purchased while I was there um, I walked in there with the intention to buy something because I think it's really important to support uh, the cat's making the table shake. Uh, I think it's really important that we support uh, brick and mortar knife stores such as there. Because, you know, it's one thing to go over there and look at it um, on a website. It's different when you actually get to hold it in your hand. And what do we have here? Well, we got the tiger stripe. We got this beautiful hyena. Oh, that traction is fantastic, my friends. So this is a zero tolerance, 0350 TS. Ken Onion Design, an S30V. The serial number on this is 36377. And here is this pocket clip. This pocket clip is not good enough for this. That's why I went over to MXG Gear and got a new clip for it. That's right. Remember, my friends, I'm going to turn on a light here so we have a little bit better lighting. Sorry about that. I don't get paid to do this. This is just so far for the, for the love of the knife. For the love of the blade, do I do this? This is my collection I buy for me that I want to share with you and help you make a decision on possibly buying a beautiful knife. So before I put this on and shake the table again, um, we're going to go over the specs for the 0350TS. Same durable build, same precision quality, yet the Zero Tolerance 0350 TS has something others don't, a bold tiger stripe blade. While it may look a little wilder, the 0350 TS has all the same features as our classic 0350. Same high performance as 30V blade, same texture black G10 scales, and our swift and simple speed safe assisted speed safe opening system so it's always ready for the next task quickly made in the usa cpm s30v stainless steel blade is extremely durable corrosion resistant and wear resistant non-reflective tungsten dlc tiger sharp coating adds blade hardness and reduces friction texture g10 handle scales and handle contours ensure a steady grip Extra heavy frame provides a secure blade lockup during use. Pocket clip mounts tip up, down, right and left, and as a lantern hole. This is an assisted folder. Its use is everyday work, tactical. Style is pocket knife designer Ken Onion. Blade style, drop point with a recurve. Plain edge, plain. Assisted with speed safe. Opens with flipper. Talk light. <laughs> lock type liner lock pocket clip for position 
made in US of A. Hardware steel peel, <laughs> pivot, <laughs> pivot, screws, pocket clip, lanyard hole. Blade steel is CPM S30V. The blade length is 3.25 inches, 8.25 centimeters. HRC 57 to 59. Blade finish coating at Tungsten DLC Tiger Stripe coating. Blade thickness 0 0.121 inches, 0 0.31 centimeters. Close length 4.6 inches, 11.7 centimeters. Handle material out of the box G10. Handle color black. Handle finish coating. Handle thickness 0 0.5 inches, 12.7 millimeters. Overall length is 7.6 inches, 19.3 centimeters, weighing in at a svelte 6.2 ounces, which is 175.8 grams. And with that out of the way, I will be right back and we'll get a little bit deeper. All right, now we're back. I wanted to look up something. So this is an aftermarket scale. It is Hyena Brown G10. It is fantastically textured. The grip on this, oh my goodness. So very, very positive with a great jimping. And it's just a great little knife. Of course, we have uh, other knives that look just like this, but a lot bigger. And I thought that this time I would get something just a little bit smaller. I have my lanyard done thusly as to not impede. If you bias it left or right, you know, it could get in the way of your hand. So I just stuck it right out here. Uh, why the lanyard? Because I like to be able to pull it out quicker. There you go. And I enjoy using my hands. <laughs> There's some more there. And there's your liner lock. It's a good looking little knife. Where did they get this aftermarket? You'd, you'd have to ask them because I bought it directly from them. So they had it done when they purchased it for a resale. And with that out of the way, let's put, well, let's close this blade. You know, safety first, boys and girls and attack helicopters. So let's pull this out. Let me get everything set up for you. Okay, so here we go. This is the MXG Gear little card with all of their pertinent information on it. I find that I have purchased many aftermarket clips from them. I like what they do and how they do it. Once again, unpaid advertisement. <laughs> so here you go. I thought it looked pretty darn good. Okay. So I've opened everything up. Of course, I'm using my uh, Leatherman Wave exclusive. Ooh, Cerakote, very patriotic. And we're gonna take out the old screws. Um, I'm sorry, the, the, the pocket clip that I came with, uh, this, um, it just looks cheap, sorry. So sorry, put that over there. I'm gonna take a little bit of blue Loctite. Why blue, Mr. Rexu? Because I've dealt with red Loctite many times before in my professional setting. And I tell you what, it does a really good job, which is uh, great, you know, if you want something to stay in there, but if you ever want to work on it with my large sausage-like fingers, there you go. Um, blue will do. Blue will, <laughs> blue will do. All right, let me see if I can situate this with my Jimmy Dean fingers. I know, it's so exciting. Ding, come on, baby. Getting that, oh yeah, you, well you're seeing it here live. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's see if I can all right, I'm gonna come right back and get this. Ta-da, see, it was just that easy. <laughs> Th thought I would save you the, the misery of watching me uh, try to get those in. That's what she said. So a little bit of Loctite, you know what, I'm gonna do a little bit more. 
see if I could do a little bit of ha -ha, precision application there there it is you know you don't you don't need to go too crazy that that was a little crazy um i am going to be asking for some black hardware and it would just be better that way kind of goes with the whole motif right in the hole with you that's right thank you so very much and screw that puppy right down my good man and there you go um yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to ask uh, MXG Gear for some new hardware. But by and large, I think this looks way, way better than that shiny black look to it. Yeah, I've seen it here first, ladies and gentlemen, and attack uh, helicopters. I was, uh, and it's all over the place. I work a dirty job. So it's not like I'm not used to getting dirty. And and uh, as usual, I put all of my old hardware into the plastic bag. For safekeeping. And there you go. Let me zoom this out a little bit. There we go. It's almost like I know what I'm doing, but we all know. Not really. So, there, well, let's put this over here. Boop, boop, and boop. All right. So, the new blade. With these fantastic hyena aftermarket scales. <laughs> Blue Loctite applied to a brand new titanium clip. And uh, the Volcano Studs, you know, everything, the fit and finish of ZT is something I've always come back to. I would like to see some more of their collaborations with uh, Emerson, because ZT Emersons are fantastic. But so is this. Looks like a little dog with a little waggy tail. So, thank you so much for spending time with me here today. Uh, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. You know, trying to grow the channel as always. Plenty of light, sunshine, and food. And, as always, have a nice day. And please enjoy some excerpts from my trip to Solvang. Take care.